Why do you think the costs of these models haven't continued to come down? Yeah, for sure. And this is so important to really the entire ecosystem. I think there are probably a few things to look at. Number one is hardware. Uh, obviously, if you look at GPUs, there are a lot of supply chain constraints. And at the same time, there is really just insatiable demand. Right. And so I think what you're seeing is that even as chips get more powerful, uh, workloads are scaling even faster. So that means more parameters, larger context windows, uh, larger models. And so they're kind of outpacing. Right. So we got the chips. Uh, what, right. Yeah, for sure. I'd say number two on the software side, most AI is still running on general purpose infrastructure. And if you look at what's really required to do inference really effectively, you need special purpose chips. And that's really just not happening for most use cases today. Right. And I'd say kind of number three is you just look at the market. You've got a, a handful of hyperscalers that really control the compute. And that really means they control the pricing power. Right. At the same time, energy costs and data center costs are not exactly going down. And so I guess I'd say costs don't fall just because models improved. Costs fall when you get more efficient at what you're doing and when you learn how to use infra in the right way. And that's really why chalk exists. Not to build bigger models, but to help people have better infrastructure on the inference side. 